Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Harika. So in today's video, I'm going to show you um, a different concept. Like uh, I have seen there are like a lot of videos on my channel, but what people are looking into is something which is rare. Like we have seen what we can do on the orchestrator, but something rare in the orchestrator is handling as an admin, right? So today I'm going to talk few concepts. Uh, so I'm going to drive a series on this. So if you have seen earlier, I have released a video on how to create an unattended setup. So that's very useful concept because the whole point of running an automation is to run without human intervention in some cases. So so in that case, how we can trigger the bot and how we can schedule the bot and everything I have mentioned uh, by how setting up an unattended automation. So that's a very useful concept. If you haven't checked it out, please do go and check it out on my channel. And also you can find the link for that particular video in the description. So yeah, uh, in this video, I am going to talk about how we can provide license. So as an admin, you have to provide license to the new people or, uh, you know, the members that are going to automate a particular project, right? So in that case, how you can provide access and allocate license to the member of that particular process project. Okay, so as a part of that, I'm gonna, I have divided this video into three different parts. <clears throat> so the first part is first we should add them into the account or invite them into that particular group okay so once after you do that the person has to accept the invite and you know he should have a particular account first of all the person should have an account so if at all the person don't have an account what the person can do also i will show in the background and you should allocate the license and give access to whatever the folders that they need okay so these are the things that I'm going to cover in this video and the next video is also going to be interesting video. Let's say uh, mostly of the orchestrator issues and the errors that we encounter. So yeah, so this is about this video. Uh, I'm going to head up uh, into the video and show you how we can do all these things. But before do that, if you're watching my channel for the first time, I'm Harika. I do videos on UiPath and Robocop. There are a lot of videos on my channel up there. There's near, more than 200 videos already. So there are a lot of videos coming up day by day. So if you like my content, please do consider subscribing because that gives me a lot of motivation and come up with interesting concepts and ideas. And also don't forget to like the videos that gives me, uh, that gives the videos a lot of reach so that the videos can go ahead to many people I cross and that, you know, which will help me to spread my videos to larger circle. So yeah, without any ado, let's get into the video and see how we can do all these things. So firstly, uh, what I'm going to show is, look, so first I will add the person into account before to that just uh, I'll pause the recording for a session because I wanted to make all the background settings done. So yes, uh, firstly, let me go to the home page and show you right from there. Okay, so if you come to this particular tenant, this is how it looks. So this is that particular account I'm using uh, in order to provide the allocation, license allocation. So firstly, I told you how you can check your licenses, how many licenses that your particular account or tenant has, everything I have shown you. So you can go and check it out in the previous video. That will be very much helpful for you. So uh, I please do check out the videos on Orchestrator. I'll provide you the link in the description. You can understand where you can check the licenses. Okay. So yeah, firstly, I'm going to my tenant. Okay, so here if you see under manage access, here is the place where I can add the people, okay, manage accounts and groups. Okay, this is what I was talking about when I say that I want to add a particular person into the project who will be working on the project. So I'm clicking on manage accounts and groups. So this is the page where I land in. So currently there's only one person who is admin who has these particular roles like administration roles and also automation developer roles that means the person can have access to run bots in unattended mode okay so now i'm going to invite the user so here i'm gonna write in the username harico.medium at outlook.com okay so this is a particular user so let's say if i wanted to uh, uh you know add that group member as automation developer i'll add that uh you know, roll to that particular user and I'll say invite. Okay, once after that is done, just say close. So we can see here that particular user has been invited. So this user will get a mail. 
okay which the person has to accept so this is happening in the background not in the ad, not uh, from the admin side so what this person will do is let me show you so if you see here this is the mail okay so this is the mail that the person has got let me take this separately so you are invited to join the UiPath Automation Cloud. You have been invited by Registered Finkita uh, to join UiPath Automation Cloud account auto save. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to accept the invite as I already have this UiPath account. I mean, the cloud orchestrator opened up here with this particular account. I cannot, uh, you know, able to do this. Like it will not show me the right action because I have to sign out at a time I can uh, you know, sign in only as a single user. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this in incognito mode. So in the background, what this person has to do is, uh, so as soon as the person opens this up, what, uh, what is a message that comes here is they would be having, let me show you what exactly it will come up as. So just to show you, I have used another account. So basically once after you click that, you will get something like this. So here you have to provide in your password, like the other person for whom the invitation has been sent, they have to provide in the password and say create account. So once after the create account has been, you know, uh, clicked only after which you can see something like this. Let me go over here and say, um, here I would take this up and go to incognito window. So here, if you see, right, perfect, right? So this will be the step one, okay? So this will be the step one where it will be asking the user to enter the password. So I'm gonna enter my password, okay? And say create account, okay? So once after I have already done that, right? So th that's why it's not letting me to go forward. But yeah, once after you do that and create account, you will get a password like this. Okay, so you have to confirm that that is your account. So you'll get a password like this, which you have to put in there, uh, the six digit and it will take you. So once after that's done, you will also give some, you know, tenant name, just like auto save what I have provided here, you have to do that. So once after that's done, what you can do is, so this is how the page will be landing into and uh, let's go to the admin part. Okay, so uh, as the admin, what I have done, I have sent the invitation, right? And I, the next thing is I should allocate the license. So let's go into that part, okay? So here, what I'm going to do is, Okay, so this particular user, uh, I'm ac I have accepted the invitation, right? So let's check if that's been accepted or not. So right, perfect. So here we cannot see that pending status. That means it is accepted. So now here we can say edit license allocation. So this particular user, we have given um, automation developer license, right? So now I'm going to edit. So here we can see allocate to the user and all these licenses, whatever we have allocated to the user, we can see. So I'm gonna provide the tester license also to this particular user. So we can see this user has, let me refresh.
So we have added this person into automation developer group and we have uh, allocated the license. So what is the license that we have allocated? Tester license. Okay, and let's say if I wanted to allocate automation developer license also, I can go ahead and do that. So if you see, let me refresh it. So this is how you can allocate the license to that particular user. So this, this user can go ahead and now uh, only the tester license is coming up, I think, because this has a limitation, right? There are zero available. We have allocated the license, but there is only one uh, automation developer license that comes with the enterprise version. So this is a trial enterprise version, right? So this has been already given to uh, this particular user. So what I can do is in order to give this license to this guy, I have to deallocate from this guy. Okay, so I have to remove the license from here. So basically it has come here to this guy because he's an admin. Okay, so by that way it has come. Okay, so now what I have to do is, so here we can see inherited from group. So in order to get this guy a license, either I should purchase one more license or I have to, uh, you know, make him as an admin. Okay, so that is how we can allocate the license if we have enough license. Otherwise, we have to, you know, make sure like whatever is available. So two attended is available, right? So the insights license is also available. So those licenses we can provide to this particular. But whatever we have to do is you have to click on this edit license allocation and you can provide to this particular user. Okay. So that is what uh, one thing you can do. And also uh, this guy, uh, Harika Auto, uh, Auto Savvy, basically, so let's say go here. So as uh, this person is having, so let's say we have invited him here, right? Auto Savvy. So now what I'm going to do here is let's go to the orchestrator. Okay, so this is my account. So now what I'm going to do here is let's create one folder, okay? So here I'm coming up and creating one folder. I'm giving new folder, okay? So let's say this is test folder. Okay, so here there are multiple fields. Uh, feeds, I will talk about feeds in the next uh, video, okay? So here we can see that the folder has got created. So now, um, if I wanted to provide access to certain guy, okay? So let's say first, uh, I'll show you the difference, okay? So if you see, there is only my workspace, which is specific to harikot.mediamatoutlook.com, right? And also one shared, okay? But he don't have access to test folder, even though if I have uh, added him as an automation developer. So even if I refresh this, this guy don't have an access, right? So now what I'm going to do here is, so... So here, if you see, I have so many uh, actions, right? So inside this particular actions, what I'm going to do, I'm going to assign users. So in the users, I can assign this user. Okay. I'm, that means I'm giving access to that guy. Okay. Just say uh, no roles are selected. So I can I can actually select some roles instead of creating. So I will say automation user. Okay, I'm not keeping him as an admin, just a user and say admin. So he'll not have an option to change anything, but just, you know, access the things. So now if you see test fold, fold, folder, sorry, folder has been given to Harika Mudiam, right? So this is perfect. This is how you can actually allocate or, you know, give access to certain folders. Let's say if there are a lot of folders on your account and if you don't want everything to be controlled by all the users, then this is the way you can do. So yeah, a quick summary. What all we have seen, how we can actually provide access. That means how we can add the users into your group and how you can allocate access, how you can access, add users into the group. I've shown you right here in the tenant, you have manage access, go there and you know, you can add the person into the group, send an invite. Once the person accepts it, what you can do is in that particular, uh, whatever the users that you have, you have an option to edit license and then how many of the licenses you have based on that, you can add the 
licenses you can allocate the licenses to that person right so yeah and once after that's done let's say if you wanted to give a specific folder access you can do that by how we can do that i have shown you here right let's go to orchestrator this is my default tenant so yeah how you can do that is uh, under that particular folder you can go to settings and assign user and you can uh, assign the particular role like admin role or uh, automation developer or automation user role whatever role you wanted to give you can do that so i hope you found this video useful and if you wanted to you know know more things and some new things about orchestrator if you're facing any issues uh while handling orchestrator as an admin so yes here is the best place to ask your questions you can just check out check out so many videos are already there and still if you have so many questions on it or any issues on it just uh, you know comment down in the comment section and i will be coming up a new week with a new video on that particular concept so i hope you found this video useful if so please 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 give a thumbs up and also let me know your thoughts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm really you know looking forward to hit that 4k milestone i hope you guys will help me to reach my milestone soon thank you so much for with this for watching this video and i'll see you with the next one soon bye